Let's start out our Back to the Future preview with a step into the past. Uh, first of all, you've seen this page before, the expectations for next year's students. And very similar to the expectations placed upon you, but maybe not driven in as uh, cl clearly as they could have been. Now, stepping back further into the past, think about how this year started out. You were thrown into projects before you were ready. And in the real world, that'll happen also. But is that the best way to do things? And the answer is, well, first of all, we have no idea, but I suspect not. L let's look now to next year and think about week seven or eight where students have been exposed to the Mac Lab way, to Photoshop and Illustrator and the Finder and your workflow techniques are now beginning to gel. Kind of like where you are right now. If we focus on all those fundamentals far earlier without the distractions of the posters and t-shirts and logos, I think you'll be better prepared to start the year more strongly. So when we get back from spring break, we're going to take your skill sets that you currently have and continue to develop this week and put them into action with a will so that we build a collection of resources to bootstrap those kids next year, to show them, just like those self-portraits, here's what is going to happen, and you are going to exceed this. So, for right now, just wrap your head around the past, where we've been, the future, where we're going, and whether or not you're going to be a part of that. And the only thing that's certain is you're going to be a part of our journey through the end of this school year. And that journey is going to include this. What are these two words? Hard work. And why? So you'll have fun. All right. I know that's a very strange concept to some of you, but... It's absolutely positively true.